Hi there, Algebra Word Problems. We're talking about motion. That's distance equals rate times time. This is the last problem set here, and the idea is to draw a diagram and figure out where these people are moving and create an equation to solve. Now the basics of this look like this. Here's the formula, distance equals rate times time. But, as I mentioned in a previous video, if you write this structure and think of distance over rate times time, then if you are being asked distance, what's left over is rate times time. If you're being asked the speed or the rate at which someone is traveling, then you would ignore the R and you'd look at the D over T, so distance divided by time. If you're being asked the time it takes to travel, then you ignore the T and the D divided by R would give you the time. Distance divided by rate would give you the time. So if you think of this structure, very simple here, that gives you an idea of whether you're multiplying or dividing. All right, let's look at number two. I'm going to give you some time to work this out yourself, and then I'll show you how to do it. Gabriella and Tokasan left Adam's house at the same time. They drove in opposite directions. Tokasan drove 10 kilometers per hour faster than Gabriella. After one hour, they were 70 kilometers apart. Find Gabriella's speed. All right, pause this video and give it a try. Draw a diagram out, see if you can figure it out, and come on back. All right, let's make this arrow be where Gabriella travels. So she's going this direction, and we don't know how far, but we do know that she was 10 kilometers per hour slower than this other guy. So Tukasan is going to be going this direction. They're in opposite directions. And let's label what we've got so far. All right, we know that she traveled this direction. We don't know how far. Okay, but we do know that, let's call her rate R, and she drove for one hour, so R times one. Now, he actually went faster than her. We don't know how far he went, but we do know that his rate was 10 kilometers per hour faster, so we're going to call it R plus 10. So her rate is R, his rate is R plus 10, and he also went for one hour. All right, now the only other thing we know is that their total distance here was 70 kilometers. All right, so we're going to say that her distance, we don't know the actual distance, but we know it in terms of rate times time, um, plus his is going to equal 70. So there is our equation. So her distance, r times 1, plus his distance, r plus 10. Okay, I'll go ahead and put that in parentheses, although we don't really need them mathematically. So her distance traveled plus his distance traveled, remember it's all times one hour, equals 70. All right, combine our like terms. So 2r plus 10 equals 70. And subtract 10 from each side. So 2r equals 60. And then r, when we divide by 2, we get 30. So her rate was 30 kilometers per hour. That is her speed, and that's all we need to know. Now, of course, from that, we can tell he went 40 kilometers per hour, but we are only being asked for Gabriella's speed. All right, I'm going to have you try number four in this video, and this will finish it. Let's go ahead and take a look. Chelsea left home and drove toward the lake at an average speed of 40 kilometers per hour. JD left at the same time and drove in the opposite direction with an average speed of 70 kilometers per hour. How long does JD need to drive before they are 550 kilometers apart? All right, good luck, pause, and come on back. All right, here's my diagram, and notice that the ladies went in opposite directions. Okay, we do know that when they're done, they will be 550 kilometers apart. So this will be similar to the problems that we looked at in the previous video. But let's see, Chelsea 
is we don't know how far she traveled. That's our distance. Okay. We also don't know how far JD traveled. And actually, it won't matter because we can express her distance as rate times time. What was Chelsea's speed? 40 kilometers per hour times how long did she travel? Ah, we don't know that. We'll call that T. All right, now JD left at the same time and traveled for the same amount of time. What was her speed? 70 kilometers per hour. Now my diagram isn't very accurate because her arrow should be longer. She would be going farther, of course. But she also traveled for the same T amount of time. So our equation, distance that Chelsea traveled, 40 T, plus the distance JD traveled, 70 T, equals the total distance, 550. Okay, that's not so bad, is it? Now we're going to be adding our like terms together. So 40T plus 70T is 110T. And that equals 550 kilometers. We are going to divide both sides by 110. And so T will be left alone and will be 5. Okay, what's our unit? 5 hours. They both traveled 5 hours to get 550 kilometers apart. All right. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope this has helped you with what you're studying. Take care.